Hello, my name is Raymond Philbeck and I work for DaVinci Jets and I'm an AMT mechanic here. As the aircraft have advanced technologically, the aircraft are way more complicated electrically than they used to be. You know, it's not just stick and rudder anymore with cables and turnbuckles and, and bell cranks and pulleys. A lot of these systems run hydraulically and they're electrically and hydraulically actuated. So the electrical part of working on aircraft has drastically changed over the years. My name is Ben Thompson. I'm, I'm an instructor at AIM. I'm a veteran. I was served in the Navy for 20 years. And in general, the military keeps you kind of specialized in a certain area. For me, it was uh, avionics. My name is Timothy Newby. My job title here at AAR is uh, avionics tech. You go into more depth on how electricity is actually applied in aircraft electrical systems. It's all the electronic components of the plane. As far as all the cockpit, the display units, heating, cooling systems, pressurization, all the gauges, oxygen systems, all the flight controls, the radar, radios, displays, rudder, all that. It's all controlled through electronics. You really get exposed to a lot of different stuff. The instructors are aimer, awesome. And they work with you one-on-one -on -one when you need it. Of course, it doesn't hurt to already have significant mechanical or aircraft experience, but we literally teach everything. Hands-on, you know, the shop work. And most instructors will do you know, everything within our power to make sure that everybody succeeds. They'll work with you all the way through school. The average age of people in, in aviation, they're, they're within a decade or a decade and a half of retirement, and so there's a critical need to replace these people that are starting to retire in, in very significant numbers. I, I think it's great that we have schools that are promoting and training our replacements to come up and step up into this field that we are extremely passionate about. Besides that, the number of aircraft that are being used around the world is growing. So because of that, there's going to be a lot of opportunities. Oh, right now is the prime time. I mean, that certification is a golden ticket to any major airlines. If you don't have a certification, you can't sign off on your own work. And that's what these big airlines want. So they require you to have this certification because they're going to pay you a lot of money to have it. So opportunities are here. So if you like taking on a problem, troubleshooting it, and, and actually fixing it and repairing it, there's a lot of satisfaction that goes into that. I would highly suggest uh, working towards a, a career in aviation. Mm -hmm.